Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Injunas Academy. So guys, in the previous video, we have seen the working of the hydroelectric power station alongside the construction of the Pelton wheel turbine. So basically in that particular scenario, like the reservoir is kept at the higher heights, basically the elevation is on the higher side, such as around 1000 or 2500 meters, like it is having higher heights. So basically guys the capacity of any power plant first of all it depends upon the uh, like the uh, potential head and the quantity of the water available but suppose I am not having that much amount of the pressure head or th that much amount of uh, potential head suppose I am having low potential head somewhat around 50 to 100 meters so in that particular scenario I am having sufficient quantity of the water but the potential head I am not having that much on a higher side so in that particular scenario what kind of turbine we shall be used to produce the power generation like without affecting the like the exact output or else exact requirement like how can we generate the sufficient amount of electricity in that particular potential head so guys to overcome this particular situation there are classification of the hydraulic turbines like this particular turbines can be classified in four major categories depends upon the first one is the type of the energy that is at the inlet that particular energy can be of the like the pressure energy or the kinetic one if it is only kinetic energy then that particular turbine can be called as the impulse turbine such as in case of the pelton wheel turbine so in case of the pelton wheel the energy we are only getting is that of the kinetic energy that is not the pressure energy but some would say we can say that like the nozzle which is used over here in Pelton wheel turbine so that particular nozzle can be utilized to adjust the pressure of uh, the flowing liquid so basically this particular type of the turbine Pelton turbine is the impulse type of the turbine that only uses the kinetic energy the next one is the reaction turbine so over here in case of the reaction turbine this type of the turbine uses the a kinetic energy of the flowing liquid alongside the pressure is also there like over here these two conditions are satisfied like it is it will have the pressure as well as the kinetic energy then that particular turbine can be called as this reaction type of the turbines so over here the reaction type of the turbines are can be called as the improved version of the previous turbines like it can be of the francis turbine or else Kaplan turbine so this Francis turbine and the Kaplan turbine so these are the improved versions of this particular Pelton wheel turbine so the moving ahead to the next point so that will be according to the head at the inlet of the turbine so as I have stated earlier like the head can be very such as like it will be having higher heads such as around 2500 meters so in that particular scenario we can go for the Pelton wheel turbine because right now I'm getting the higher heads it can be having low heads such as the 60 to 100 meters so in that particular scenario I will only go for the Kaplan turbine because this is the reaction type of the turbine so like the based upon the head we can categorize this so the first one is the low head turbine if the head is available is less than 60 meters then this particular type of the turbine can be called as a low head turbine so basically over here in low head turbines the Kaplan turbine is mainly suited medium head turbine the medium head turbines are around generally 60 to 250 meters so over here the reaction turbine is used that is called as the Francis turbines can be suitable for this medium head turbine and high head turbine if the head is available above 250 meters then that particular turbine can be called as the higher head turbine so in that particular higher head turbine category we can go for the Pelton wheel turbine so moving ahead the next point is the direction of the flow through the runner the direction flow so in order to understand this particular direction of the flow you can look at this particular in this particular image the flow direction can be axial can be tangential or else it can be radial or it can be mixture of both like radial plus axial tangential plus axial so this they are, these are the nothing but the type of the flow through the runner of the turbine blades 
so the first one is the tangential flow turbine so over here in the tangential flow turbine the flow will enter tangentially into the casing of the turbine blades like what happens in the case of the pelton wheel turbine in the pelton wheel the nozzle exerts like the jet of the flow per, like it is a tangentially the flow we are getting over here is a tangential flow of the water in a pelton wheel turbine the next is the radial flow turbine in case of the radial flow turbine the water enters in the turbine blades like radially such as you can see over here in case of the francis turbine the water will enter in that particular francis turbine like it will enter radially so this type of the turbine can be called as the radial type of the turbine also over here this type of the francis turbine like the water enter will radially and water will leave axially so this can be you know the mixed type of the flow turbine so this particular francis turbine can be called as a radial also or as the mixed flow type of the turbine as well the next one is the axial flow turbine in case of the axial flow turbine the water will enter axially such as over here in case of the kaplan turbine you can see the water will enter axially and the water will leave axially like it will this particular condition gets satisfied so that's why this particular kaplan turbine can be called as the axial flow turbine and the last one is the mixed flow turbine so i have stated earlier like this particular francis turbine is the mixed flow type of the turbine over here the water will enter radially and the water will leave tang uh, like the axially like the airfoil arrangement in the francis turbine is such a way that the water will exert the pressure on that particular turbine blades and the lift force will generate it and that particular due to that particular lift force the francis turbine will rotate and water will leave like axially so this is the nothing but the mixed flow type of the turbine so moving ahead the next point is nothing but the according to the specific speed of the turbine so over here the specific speed of the turbine can be low specific speeds medium specific speeds and the higher specific speeds so over here in case of the lower specific speeds like the pelton wheel turbine is mostly suitable so over here the specific speed which we are getting over here is less than 60 in case of the medium specific speed the francis turbine is suitable and in case of the medium specific speed the speed will be around 60 to 300 so the francis turbine is a uh, suitable for the medium specific speed and in case of the higher specific speed the kaplan turbine is majorly suited so over here in case of the kaplan turbine the specific speed is around 300 or else in certain scenario it will be greater than 300 So guys this was the classification of the hydraulic turbines. So guys over here we have seen the four categories on the basis of which the hydraulic turbines are classified. So these are nothing but the type of the energy at the inlet the type of the head suitable the type of the direction of the flow over here I am getting and the specific speed of the hydraulic turbine. So over here these are the four major categories on the basis of which we can classify the hydraulic turbines. So guys let me clarify you one thing like this pelton wheel turbine is the you know the biggest and the prime uh, type of the turbine and like the if we go for the higher and the modified version we can go for the francis turbine and the kaplan turbine the kaplan turbine is like the most advanced version of any of the type of the turbine so in case of the pelton wheel turbine we are getting the less specific hair specific speed we are getting less specific speed but over here we require the higher amount of the head in pelton wheel turbine in case of the francis turbine we require low head and the uh, the specific speed will increase over here and in case of the kaplan turbine will require much lower heads and we are getting the higher specific speed in case of kaplan turbine so guys this is nothing but the classification of the hydraulic turbines i hope you like my video if you having any doubts and queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video